I'm numb right now. I don't understand. Like a lot of people, just don't understand why they just don't do the right thing. Melvin Ward has watched and waited for 35 years, wondering if his brother will ever be a free man. Tommy Ward was convicted of killing Donna Denise Haraway from Ada back in 1984. From day one, he's claimed his innocence. And just days before Christmas, a glimmer of hope for Ward, a district judge vacated his conviction. He had packed up and was ready to go, and he, he suggested he was going to pack up and get ready to come home again, and just got put on hold again. Instead, Oklahoma's Attorney General Mike Hunter appealed Ward's release, asking to keep him behind bars. Thursday afternoon, the Oklahoma Court of Criminal Appeals ruled Ward's release is on hold indefinitely. These stays happen somewhat frequently, so I shouldn't say, I wouldn't say I was shocked. Ward's co-defendant Carl Fontenot had his conviction overturned and was released on bond late last year, while his case is still being appealed. But according to Ward's legal team, justice delayed is all too common. This case being under scrutiny for years still raises questions. I always thought the state was just trying to, uh, trying to save face. They, they, they've, uh, 35 years ago, improperly imprisoned two people, Carl and Tommy. You know, uh, the same two people that they were supposed to be protecting their rights, they violated their rights. And uh, for 35 years, they've gotten away with it. Unclear when and if Ward will be released. Ward's counsel says it's all in the hands of Oklahoma's Attorney General. There still is a hope that the Attorney General will uh, acknowledge that Tommy Ward's conviction was, uh, was wrongful uh, and based on constitutional errors.